Oh, we're seeing the Pyromithra. Again, that is a character that uh, Solo has access to. Okay, here we go with game number one. All right, starting off, we're back on town and city. Uh, less gimmick confirms this time. It could just be that Joker's a bad matchup for Rosa. It could just be that Solo wants to practice secondaries, and that's why we've seen the Joker actually come out for most of this run. Okay. Okay, interesting. Good start. You're just using Mithra to get that stage control and that damage. <clears throat> we're probably going to see a Pyro switch soon. But Solo gets reversals. Finds a way out the corner though. Alright, these are the situations where Pyro is a little... Uh, where Mithra is a little bit less good. Trying to find a way in. I love the use of the Nair to just cover spot dodge. Unable to find the kill with Pyro. Now you're stuck playing neutrals in mid-tier. What are you going to do? I say a mid tier, that's actually really good. Yeah, Fire's kit say. doesn't work. Yeah, Fire's kit doesn't work, but finds the kill. A bit. I do, I do very much appreciate at least seeing the Mithra, because almost always online, whenever I see this character, it's always just Pyra. Really? Yeah. How often do oh. we actually get to see Mithra and EUBC? No, never. It's almost always Pyra. Oh Solo. yeah, that's because it that's because it was Goomba and, like the the last two I can remember are Goomba and Snowglobes. <laughs> and Snowglobes' Pyro was like <laughs> It was it was such a mash. Uh, Am he, I he hearing just, some player disparagement? Some play no, because I know Snowglobes, he's a okay. friend. He's just like deliberately mashing because he knows he can. Well, both players now on second stock. Pyfree currently sitting with a percentage deficit. Has no Rebel Guard. Rebel Meter, whatever the heck that thing's called. Rebellion Gage. I didn't get any of that right? Okay. <laughs> you, you were wrong on all counts. Nice. I love the use of Gun to just stop Solo from hitting the edge guard again. Now stuck in neutral is a character that probably doesn't want to be playing neutral against Joker. Has to look for the switch quick, gets it. All right, now is where the damage starts being made up. Again, it's just about using Mithra to force your opponent into corner situations and then trying to use Pyro to secure stocks, but if you can't do that, then you can't do that. It is a little funny trying to push Joker back into the uh, blazing end. Get, get it, shield, get it, shield. It's the fur. Nice catch. I know that down tilt kind of in there, but uh, not really going to make the most of it. And we are at even stocks. Still got some, you know, our send to play with, but uh, it is Pyramithra, of course. Big damage coming out. Well, I say big damage, it's, you know, it's sheet damage, but it's also sheet combos. Alright. Yeah, unable to hit the drag down there. Tried to go for the upbeat to follow up, but wasn't able to get it. Almost caught the jump. Recovery is probably one of the few weaknesses that Pyramithra have. Did you see the gun dash out of slingshot too? This guy, this guy is moving. So gun dash is when you wave land out of a, a gun in the air. And okay. slingshot makes it like actually good in terms of moving you forward. Because <laughs> it gives you full momentum. I do like the use of Photon there. <laughs> it's a little bit silly, but I loved it. Alright, there goes Arsene. So here's Solo's chance to catch up. Ooh, and that Ooh, will do it! Yeah, that will do it, that will do it, that will catch up. The robbery comes out. The down air at 83, converting into an up air to take the stock. Tallest ceiling in the game, by the way. Uh, yeah, making the most of it, finding that kill as Pyra. And uh, Solo takes game one. Pfeiffer, who's been really composed in those situations, kind of out, outplayed and, and clutched on. Kind of the opposite of what we've seen him do in, in his run so far. Solo just having that extra level of calmness. Being a very confident run from Solo as well. All right, I got to leave you for just a moment. Bird clearly wants to go back to his cage. Oh, uh, poor Bird.
Okay, we are going straight into game two. We are running it back. So we're just being a little bit patient. Try protecting stage control early though. Unable to really capitalize on that solo instead. Getting a nice meaty 48%. And for how safe Pithra's moves are, it's pretty good. Oh, I love that last minute switch to just stall over the Phantom Footstools as well. We got some movement. Do you like the use of mid-air switching? To just make it a little bit easier for Solo to get out of the corner as, uh, as Mithra instead of his Pyra. Made the most of Mithra's much better disadvantage overall. Ooh, trying to catch with a landing up air. You wonder if down air might have been the play, but back air will take it. The patience paying off for Solo, looking very composed. Pfeiffer needs to start finding this kill. Looking a little bit lost now. Really smart. Nah, out of the corner there. That really could have been it for Solo, but he takes a, a difficult situation and converts it into a lot of damage for him. Oh, Solo's still sitting on first stock, I see. Yeah, Solo has been playing this really, really smart. Just about escapes. Wow, okay, that was a bit of a whiff punish from Pfeiffer there. Solo gonna take full advantage. And Solo's done a really good job of, like, switching out of Pyro when they need to. Like, just then. Yeah, good recovery mix as well. There's Mithra just looking to win neutral, keep Pfeiffer in the corner. Go to the ledge trap situation, you got your kill starts now. There you go. Back air's just gonna take it, nice and clean. Solo snowballing now. Pfeiffer unable to find this kill. Can be really difficult for Joker to do that without our send sometimes. He's got no raw kill options really, but the down gun will take it. Alright, so with that, Solo finally down to their second stock. Pfeiffer on their final one. Yeah, it can be difficult. With uh, the way Pfeiffer's been playing so far in this run to really play at a deficit. Oh my Ooh, god! That was a big smash attack! Wow, what a call out, but the Town and City Blast Zone just not short enough and goes straight off and just takes full advantage with Pyro, not demoralized by the fact that didn't kill at all. Just Solo going popping for it. off really hard. Some disgusting little run from Solo there. And it was that game, it was that stop too, where Pfeiffer just really couldn't take solo stop at all. They're running it back. That is often a sign of frustration. Um, sometimes it's good to take a second to compose yourself, I feel. Uh, but it's good admittance to know that it, the stage isn't really the main They're not here. running it back. All right. Can we have a live slug reaction? What the heck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> what? Those are just did words. You, did you mean bird reaction? Did you, cause we got That's bird. pretty far from slug. You know, it's, English is a hard language to learn, all right? <laughs> All right, here we go, game number three. Potentially the final one if this keeps up. Yeah, Solo looking to run away with this. Gets the grab reset, but unable to do much off of it. Now it's Pfeiffer's time to get some damage in. Solo's disadvantage has been really, really good. Knowing exactly when to jump, when to air dodge. And he's been jumping at a disadvantage a lot more than you expect a Pyramid player to do, because he knows that... Pfeiffer is going to wait for the air dodge a lot more, just because you have foresight. Isn't foresight kind of a bad counter, though? No, foresight's like... As foresight is better than... Bats Within, just for oh. reference. Like, much better than Bats Within. In the sense that, like, you can spot dodge foresight through multi-hits and then get a true punish. Buh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just can't do multi-hits on, on Mithra's shield sometimes. 
this face tire. Oh, not grabbing there. Rubble Going for the F tilt instead. Pfeiffer unable to connect with the uh, the spiral guns. There's our son. This is the chance to even things up. Nicely nice done. Good way. All right. So with that, both players now on second stock. Very low percents. Yeah, it was a very smart wait there. Just uh, you're so scared of Arsene Baker, like all the time, uh, and you don't really think about F tilt as a kill option that much. So. Really, really good use. Again, going for the same read there, but Pfeiffer smart enough to jump out this time. Solo is still kind of running away with this, looking for this kill as Pyra. The fact that it's so much easier to kill with this character than basically any other character in the game is really, really useful. You've just got like a lot of good raw kill options as well as kill confirms, which not a lot of characters have. Like Choker, for example, has like one or two raw kill options. And even then, they're only late kill options without Arsene. So he's very heavily reliant on kind of finicky confirms. Or they're like stage reliant where you got those drag downs on PS2 to up smash. Yeah, yeah. But when you're relying on falling aerials like drag down fair one and drag down off air, things can get a little bit more difficult for you because you're inherently relying on like jumping and, and landing on your opponent and that gets a bit predictable. After a while, great jump over the e -ha. Forward, I was just gonna take it. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Like most characters just wouldn't be able to kill in that situation, but Pyro can get away with it for free. Great Rebels Guard though. Gonna uh -huh. start playing with Arsene. And Arsene is back. Quite for yet 29%. Solo at 109. Solo seems to just alright, for a moment. It seemed like Solo was willing to just sort of like run away and wait. Maybe, but Doing a lot of damage to Arsene is genuinely pretty good. Like, running away just puts you in the corner eventually. But one of the first things they did to nerf Arsene, and one of the only things they did to nerf Arsene, was make it so that he just loses more meter from damage. Um, and, like, he still loses a decent amount just from getting hit. So it is important to just try and keep him in disadvantage as long as you can, especially because his disadvantage isn't necessarily better. Great catch of the double jump, by the way, with the down guns. That's the kind of early kill you needed. Solo looking to secure the set pretty comfortably here. The only thing Pyro's missing is a kill throw, but I feel like if Pyro had that, that would be actually kind of unfair. Pyro's <laughs> already pretty stacked. Yeah, Pyro's already got more kill options than everyone else. I love nice. the use of Phantom Footstools. We've seen Solo do it a couple times. Arsene is about... Oh, no, That's it. I was about to say, yeah. Arsene is about to be ready just over, just over time, but... Nope. Solo taking the set. 3-0 very convincingly. And with that, that will be the end of the winner side of the bracket. Yeah, and we've talked about how composed Pfeiffer's been throughout this run, but it Solo just had 